Welcome everybody to Star Topics 3. I'm uh, sorry for no video yesterday. I was too busy on something. Okay, so to make up for that, I will do episode 6 and episode 7 today. So be on the lookout for that. And there won't be no editing for this one, so just get out of the way. Because I, I think I can explain it rightly. So, <clears throat> as you know, we have three cubes from the red cube from Casino Cola. The blue coup from Market Cola and the green coup from which at the time of episode three I want to say she cola, but then someone reminded me like when I was on watching videos of Star Tropics I remember seeing she cola in the original game and one of the NPCs that said that Mike or Michelle Jones as they thought he was was from her cola and I'm like okay I should have done that so now we're going to work on episode three to be that he got it from her cola, which will make a lot more sense and one of the pet will be on repetitiveness. If that makes any sense. So uh maybe down in the world if I get done with this series I will explain the rec the revised episode three or episode five I mean. So yeah. So let's start with episode six. <clears throat> Mike now come and recom reach their final area, reach their final island which they tracked the signal, the purple, purple, the cube at, which is at Terry Cola. Terry Cola is like this, like a little tropical looking area, tropical beach. But as they get there, um, they track the, uh, NACCOM track the signal of the fourth cube and a huge mansion way over there, like on the other side of the island. So they had to get to it. You know, they had to go through the woods, get to the mansion, all that stuff. But before they go, the villagers of Terracola uh, were spreading rumors that their children have been taken or kidnapped by a monster. And they went to that mansion. So, Mike says to the villagers that he will rescue uh, the children for them back. I mean, he's a nice guy. So we pretty much just go through, through the woods, Terry Cole Woods, as I like to call him. And, you know, he found out, he bought out some enemies, stuff like that. It's not a really creepy place either. It's like a really lit, like, well, brightly lit uh, forest. I don't think of, like, you know, just, it's just an average forest area. It's not creepy. But uh, as time goes on, since this, this game has a day and night system, it might get darker. So it might start getting creepy, but it's still lit. To, to see through, so after you get to that, Mike finally reaches the mansion, which is like this big haunted looking mansion, but not like Luigi's mansion, but more like I don't know, it just looks like an average mansion to be honest with people. So Mike goes in, but before, yeah, he goes in and he sees a monster, but which is like this like vampire, this bat just haunting him. When he goes in the mansion. But the mansion itself, once you get inside of it, it's very well decorated and very uh, bright. It doesn't look haunting at all. There's some things like the, like the pictures will jump out at you, but they're not creepy at all. They just You can just see them getting out of the picture frame. So, it's not that really creepy of a mansion. I don't know why it's not that creepy for a monster. Then, we finally get to the top floor. This is a four-story mansion. We get to the fourth story and we find the monster again this time he's in a big wolf and he pretty much does not like intruders so Mike has to beat him up but after after their fight the wolf goes away goes to this hallway that really leads to this big door Mike is like okay we might start you know he starts prepping himself because this is must be a big thing so he busts down the door turns out Mike has interrupting has interrupted a wedding. So on one side you got the monsters like best friends that are also monsters. On the other side you got children who are like actually happy to be there. And then at the end of the uh <clears throat> room you see the monster getting married in his human form, married to this other girl. And Mike was like, Okay, um sorry for interrupt and there turns Pretty much, yeah, we just make the scene awkward. But, uh, 
they're not bad guys. Mike is legit playing the bad guy in this situation. He's an inv- he's an invader. They thought that Mike was trying to break up the wedding, and the children was just there because they were volunteered. He never kidnapped them. He just gave them invitations, and they decided, oh, they're just gonna go kiss these days, you know. But uh, Mike was like, okay, I'm very sorry for interrupting your wedding, and then. You know, they have a little wedding party afterwards. And Mike, in that come, and we come, finds the fourth cube from a kid. The kid w- was using it as a wedding gift. So, Mike tries to reach for the cube, like, ask for the kid for the cube, which the kid actually does give it to him. But right before it gets into Mike's hand, Zoda Soldiers comes from the glass, the stained glass window of the top floor, comes in, Takes the fourth cube and bounce. And Mike, Nakon, Recon, they had to go chase these guys in the subsea. Like, they jumped out of, out of the mansion because Recon had the subsea right there ready for them in that little pool area so they can go follow the, subs- follow the Zoda soldiers. So, that's the end of episode six. And this is supposed to be the haunted, haunting, the haunted episode, but, you know, it's not that haunting. It's just, oh, oh well. But the thing is, is that, we now know we got, we technically almost had all four cues, but these soldiers are kind of stupid, the Zoda soldiers, because they take, they took the last cue from Mike, but they're also not very secretive of where they're going. So at this point, Mike is really just following the last cue when it's in his face. That's Zoda soldiers for you, they're stupid. So next time in the episode, we're going to do our final episode, the final battle with Zoda. See you next time. Thank you for watching.